Hello and welcome! In this video, you'll learn about the vision quest that myself and some others here at the Monastic Academy recently participated in, and which was led by Darren Silver. You'll hear an excerpt from a story that he shared with us, as well as an interview with resident Alf about his experiences on his vision quest, connecting more deeply with nature and learning what it means to explore nature without having any objective or goal. You know, really invite you to pay attention to the moment that you enter into the story. That moment that captures where all of a sudden you're transported. And the moment where you leave this story. When you drift off into your own story again and you go someplace else. Those threshold moments where I believe there's always guardians right there at our thresholds. Every threshold crossing before every retreat, I imagine, at least with every quest, those guardians are there. Those old, faithful guardians. Courage, or grief, or hamburgers that sometimes require something of us. Whether it's fear, or doubt, or joy, or pizza, or free time, there's always those guardians right there we get to meet. Sometimes we pay them enough that they leave. You know? So pay attention to those moments when you enter the story and when you leave. What do you hope to, uh, to, uh, to bring forth, to carry forth from the quest? Yeah, I don't know about habits, but um, I think one, it was another big insight of mine, but was I've spent a lot of time in nature, like uh, hike Machu Picchu or Everest or go on this or that, but there's a, something that this quest opened up with me was having a relationship with the land. Mm. And it's mm. different than, oh, spending time in nature is good. Yeah, that's great. But there's something about having an intimacy and a relationship with the land. And that was a shift that I, I haven't had a relationship with land since a child when I would go get lost in the woods for hours and hours. Mm. And I knew the, the gully and the stream and it was like, mm. it was my forest. And something like that got reopened up. I want to have a relationship with the land mm. and the life and all that intimacy that comes with it. Uh, so I guess even like today when I we have this beautiful old loop trail that goes around 123 acres here, not all the acres, but part of the property here at mm. the Monastic Academy. And I detoured and went and visited my spot. Mm, so, beautiful. I, so I paid homage to it. Um, that's like a new habit, but it's not, I don't like the word habit, but I sure. want to cultivate that relationship, even with that piece of the land, generally the land here that we are calling our home. So what I'm hearing is uh, spending more time away from the trail and more time in relationship with the uh, deeper wilderness. Yeah. yeah, and even knowing other parts more, but sure. yeah, uh, in relationship for sure. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and were inspired to get out into whatever nature is around you. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe for similar content, share with any friends who you think might be interested, and check out our other social medias for more different kinds of content. And see you next time. Bye!